welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be sharing my current lifestyle and beauty favorites. seem to enjoy my last favorite video if you have not seen that I will link it above and down below in the description box so you can go check out my last current favorites so I do have a list of things that I want to go over and I got some stuff sitting here in front of me so first let's go ahead and get beauty out of the way let's jump into the beauty products so in my last favorites video I did talk about a lip combo that I really loved and one of the items were actually not even sold anymore so I felt really bad about sharing a lip gloss that I can't even buy anymore so I was like okay let's find something that they will be able to find a lot easier that's going to give them the same kind of look so I mixed these two together this is the wet and wild liquid cat suit in the shade give me mocha loving it gives me the right amount of I don't know like a mauve tone but like enough deepness if that makes any sense and then i'll go in with this neutrogena hydra boost this is a hydrating lip shine and it is in the shade radiant rose number 50 so i will mix i will mix the two of these together and it gives me this really nice color wash i don't know it doesn't if i were just to put this on it does last a little bit longer but when i mix it in with this i think it tends to a sort of go away just a little bit and the last lip product you guys know that I love lips I love chapsticks whatever I did talk about this in a get ready with me video I'm still loving it it just it's like the perfect going into summer lip balm it's by the Sol Janeiro which I think that's how it's pronounced but it's the Brazilian kiss capacua lip butter I have no idea if I'm saying that right but I just love it. It's just a, it's big enough to just make sure I get it all over my lips. It smells amazing. It's super moisturizing. It doesn't feel like it's clogging the pores around my lips, if that makes any sense. But love, love, love. The last beauty item I want to talk about is this new mascara. I knew as soon as I heard somebody talking about it that I wanted it. I needed to have it. And I finally found it. This is the new L'Oreal Paradise Lash or whatever. What is it called? Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is in the shade Blackest Black. I do have it on my lashy lashes right now this is just one coat so it's supposed to be the dupe for Too Faced Better Than Six and I have to say I totally agree it was eight dollars and some change so it was totally worth it I will never be buying the Better Than Six because I'm gonna save my money and just get this even the packaging is like super similar so love it now going into hair care I got these two curly hair products from Octoly. If you don't know what Octoly is, for all influencers, you can go on there and they'll send you free stuff to try out and you just have to review it. So if you don't like it, you can tell them you don't like it, but if you like it, definitely tell people that you like it. So they sent me this Mrs. Jessie's, Miss Jessie's. Um, I got the Coily Custard and I also got the Curly Meringue. And if you've never seen a clip or a picture of my hair when it's in its natural curly state, I'll definitely have to show you so you can see it, but I am loving these. I've actually been using these on my husband so far, um, and I love them for his hair. His hair is very curly, and we just sort of like a little messy um, pompadour kind of thing with him. So I'm excited to try these out on my hair. I know they're gonna be amazing. If you wanna stay updated with it, I will definitely put up a picture whenever I I do decide to wash and make my hair go curly instead of blow drying it out straight but um if you're interested in seeing a curly hair routine I know you guys asked for it last year and I just never got around to doing it um, but if you want to see that definitely let me know and I will get that done especially with the summer coming up my hair is majority of the time it's wet and curly in the summertime so loving these now let's talk about dog stuff <laughs> I only have one dog item but this item Thank y'all so much for all of your suggestions. In one of my last videos, I was asking about what can I do to get rid of dog hair because Walnut is losing his undercoat and I've never had to deal with that before. There he is over there, by the way. Ladies up there, she does not shed. She's a Yorkie, so she has like little balls of hair that might come off every once in a while, but she does not shed. Walnut, on the other hand, he does. And I was like, what in the world am I supposed to do? So everybody suggested the Furminator. 
I went to a local pet store and it was like almost $60. And I'm like, y'all people's got me crazy. I ain't, I ain't buying no $60 brush. So I got on Amazon. This was, I think, $26 on Amazon. And we do have Amazon Prime. So it come in two days. Didn't have to pay for shipping. And I am loving it. Like, the amount of hair that it takes off in one single brush... I just do it now for just the pleasure of it because I'm just like so amazed every time I brush I'm gonna show you what the bristles look like but walnut loves it he loves getting but he just lays there or sits right there and as soon as I stop he's like looking at me like woman why are you stopping keep going so I have to clean it off in between going through and doing swipes but I'm telling you you just do one fluid swipe so much hair accumulates on this thing it is amazing. Like I don't know how it works. I don't know. I don't I don't care to know. I just know that it works. So if you have a dog that is shedding and you've never owned this, the Furminator, I highly suggest getting one. They have one um that's a bigger size. This one's the medium for short hair, but they do have ones for long hair. But love go get this. It was worth those twenty six dollars. Every bit. I would have I probably would have paid fifty now that I know that it works so good. <laughs> But I won't. <laughs> now, let's talk about some home stuff. First, let's go with cleaning. Because I know y'all love to hear my cleaning favorites. So, still obsessed. Still obsessed with this method, all-purpose, antibacterial cleaner. The reason I'm more obsessed with it right now is because of the scent. I think it is the perfect spring going into summer scent. It is the wildflower scent. And when I'm cleaning, I just feel like I'm just so ready for flowers blooming. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just, it's the perfect scent right now. So, I'm loving this. And it's just helping with, I've been sick a lot because of the weather change and all this cold and sinus stuff going on so this has helped reduce the nastiness spreading throughout the house and getting rid of bacteria so love this you guys have heard me talk about clean cult laundry pods a million and one times but gotta talk about it again because they have new packaging i received an email talking about they have a new look and when i saw it my mouth dropped i automatically just fell in love with the concept of the laundry pods because they are green they are green natural laundry pods so that was already interesting to me from the get-go now that they've changed the packaging this branding is everything i talked about it in one of my latest vlogs but oh the matte bag it's not like the shiny cheap plastic looking bags they're safe for all washers for high efficiency washers just regular old washers they work on all temperatures of water whether you wash your clothes in cold water hot water tap cold water whatever they work in everything i get a lot of questions about that but i always have a coupon code linked down below in the description box i'll also have it linked right here so you see it but you get 60 percent off of your first bag of laundry pods that's a steal so if you haven't tried them out just try them out for that month to see if you like them i'm telling you not only are they green but they clean like nobody's business i have one of my friends she was like girl thank you so much for suggesting this they got the mud out of my boyfriend's nasty muddy pants and there was a few other nasty things she said that was in that load of wash but she said it was amazing one pod amazing just go try them out favorite essential oil of the month was this eden's garden stress relief synergy blend eden's garden probably does have my favorites like my most favorite synergy blends i am obsessed this one is perfect it has sweet orange bergamot patchouli grapefruit and yingling hopefully i say that right every time i say it i'm like i just don't think that's right <laughs> There you go. But I will put this on when I am just needing to just de-stress and try to relax. This is perfect. Like, it's just the perfect blend. It's not like, over, it's not an overpowering scent, which is why I really love essential oil. It just gives you just enough of what you need without overpowering. So, I love this one. It just reminds me of being at a spa and what's, I don't know, any better feeling than feeling like you're at the spa. So, stress relief. Eden's Garden. If you're interested in any of these items, I will have all of them linked down below in the description box for you to try out. No worries. Now, more home stuff. So you know, this cannot be a favorites video if there's no candle related anything in it. Well, no fear because here we go. Could not decide which wax cube I wanted to talk about this month that I am obsessed with. I'm always obsessed with the rainy spring day 
but I had to bring this one up because it is a limited edition one and I think it's more targeted towards spring but I always love it going into summer so let's start with this one first this is the warm spring sunshine from better homes and gardens so obviously I love it I don't know what it is about it it does have it says sunshine. I literally feel like I smell sunshine. I don't even know what sunshine smells like, but it smells like whatever this is in here. And there's there's a floral scent, but I'm not a super florally scented person. <laughs> like, I smell like flowers. <laughs> I don't really like overly powered, like, floral scents, but this is so good. It is kind of strong, but hey, my house is kind of big, and I like it to be strong to just make sure it reaches all the crevices and nooks and crannies of the house but I love this one. This is an oldie but a goodie, and it is Better Homes and Garden Rainy Spring Day. Y'all. Okay, so I had used every bit of it from last year, and I kept looking for it, and I'm like, where is it? Well, it's because, Paige, you used all of it, so you need to go buy another one. So I just went and bought another one. I also bought a matching candle because I just love this scent. And it's not, it's, it has more of a masculine scent to it. I will say it reminds me of something that Cody washes with. Some scent from Bath and Body Works that he washes with. I can't put my finger on it, but that's what this smells like. But it's just really refreshing. It has that cologne kind of scent to it. But it's just, it's a clean, nice scent. I don't know what. The, it's just awesome. If you haven't smelled it, go smell it. My mama literally has the candle burning and the wax melts melting at the same time. And her house smells amazing. So, go smell it if you have not already. The candle that I wanted to mention this month, my favorite, is from Bath and Body Works. That's no surprise. And it is the Sugared Peony Petals. So, I know I just said I don't normally gravitate towards the floral scents. Anything that even has flowers on it, I typically don't even smell it. But, my husband was with me, and he just picks up anything. He'll pick up whatever and smell it. So, he smelled this. He was like, ooh, that smells like cotton candy. And I'm like, cotton candy? That's, I don't smell cotton candy. But, I mean, I guess it does have the sweetness, which I guess is what he what helped him and the pink doesn't help that reminded him of cotton candy so i was like i don't know and i was and i needed one more candle and he said just get that one i like the way that one smells and i was like well it would go really good in my office so i got it and i burned it when i burned it i fell in love this one's from last year so i only burn it when i'm in my office and i only burn it for a little bit because i'm trying to savor it i don't want it to die on me I know I can just go buy another one, but I don't think these have come out just yet. I think this one is a summer scent at Bath & Body Works, but write it down, girl. Put a put a notification in your phone that you need to be looking for the sugared peony petals. It is sweet. It does have a little bit of floralness to it, but it is so good. It's just, it's a very feminine, girly scent. I don't know why he liked it. I guess because it reminded him of some kind of candy, but I love it. If you love sweet girly scents you will love this one and the, and the packaging doesn't hurt either a book that i'm loving this month is pink lips and empty hearts heather Lindsay, girl okay so i've had this book since 2012 and i got about halfway done with it and then i went to move out of my house into my apartment and totally forgot about the book didn't even finish it i got busy and forgot to finish it so then the other day i was going through books and i'm like oh this book i never finished it so i started from the beginning and i'm like why haven't i already finished this book like five thousand times it is amazing so, it says, completely dressed up and broken inside. The all-in-one book for the woman after God's own heart. I love me some Heather Lindsay. Love her and her whole family. She's awesome. So, I'm going to read just a little bit on the back to sort of give you an idea of what it's about. It says, it's an invitation for every woman who has ever felt like she wasn't good enough, pretty enough, saved enough, content enough, or doing enough hallelujah it is the bomb so go if you need to go look it up i will have like i said it'll be linked down below in the description box she actually sent me this book back in 2012 because i tweeted her and said as soon as i get paid next month because i was in between jobs i was trying to figure out school i was in cosmetology school full time and with paul mitchell it was literally like a job so there was no time to have a job and i was like as soon as i get money i'm going to buy this book and when she seen that tweet she tweeted me and asked what was my address and she was going to send me one 
and she sent me this book she even wrote me a little note right and it says Paige you are so loved by God he is with you that made me love her even more for the fact that she just decided to just up and send me a book no call she just sent it to me and I've been cherishing it forever so check out Heather Lindsay you'll love her TV show so favorite TV show right now I want to talk about two different ones one from Hulu one from Netflix if that makes it if that helps you out I know that some people only have one or the other so I have both but um so favorite show on Hulu right now would probably definitely have to be the kitch I just started catching back up on the kitch I was behind on five episodes and I've just been so busy and I just don't have the time to just sit and watch TV anymore so I finally got to catch up I was super ahead of schedule so I was like okay girl let's sit down let's catch up so love the catch it is one of the Shonda Rhimes TV shows if you don't know who Shonda Rhimes is she is the creator of Scandal Grey's Anatomy is there another one how to get away with murder so she also created the catch which come out last year I think so I'm on the second season so I want to say both seasons are on Hulu so if you've never watched it I suggest going to watch it it's very interesting keeps you on your toes of course if you've seen any of Shonda Rhimes TV shows then you know sort of what to expect <laughs> there's always something happening so i love that one and then on netflix well jane the virgin season three decided it wanted to finally be added on netflix last night so yeah i love jane the virgin and i have been waiting and waiting on this third season to come to netflix because it used to come on hulu so i called up on netflix and then i started watching them as they would come on on hulu and then hulu got rid of it and i'm like no so i have literally been waiting for probably a year for season three not even joking so oh season three yeah so far so good sometimes you know like certain seasons like the longer it, it just keeps going out it starts getting sort of crazy it's like we all just go ahead and get rid of it that's kind of like pretty little liars i'm at the point now i can't stop watching it because i've started from the beginning so I'm, i just have to wait till it's over but it's almost like you're pulling you're just you're making stuff up like craziness at this point just to just like get a few more episodes out but jane the virgin is not like that at all it's just so interesting like there's always something happening this has definitely been one of my favorite tv shows that i've ever watched so Go watch them. All three seasons are on Netflix, so binge away. And then for my favorite song of the month, when summer starts approaching, we listen to country music a lot more than normal. <laughs> like, we are country folks, so I mean, we listen to it all year round, but now when it starts warming up outside, that's like 70% of what we're listening to. It just gets you in like those nice summer vibes and you're like, oh, I want to go to the beach. I just want to hang out around the bonfire, make some s'mores. Like that's all I think of. So right now, favorite artist has to be Sam Hunt. Fell in love with him, I think last year. Was it last year? Every song that he puts out, I'm like, oh, Sam Hunt, I love it. So my husband also likes Sam Hunt. So our favorite song right now has to be Body Like a Back Road. I love it. I love it. Favorite. It's just like, you know, I don't know. You just get into it. It's just amazing. I don't know. I just love it. It's just like the perfect summer vibes, chill, laid back, riding, like, we blast it when we hear it come on the radio we like turn it all the way up we roll the windows down open the sunroof and we just sing down the road and it's just i don't know it's just our favorite song right now so i just love it okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this random lifestyle favorites video you guys enjoyed the last one so i definitely wanted to make sure that i start making this a monthly thing and i think it's pretty fun it's fun to look back on some of the things that you know you enjoyed that month things that you want to remember that you enjoyed because sometimes i forget and i'm like what was that lip color that i was using what in in may what was the name of that candle not that i could ever forget a candle but you know <laughs> so i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching bye guys that they will be able to find a whole lot easier. You could at least told me that you were about to walk through. Body like a back road, driving with my eyes closed. Pink, so let's make that. Body like a back road, driving with my eyes closed. I know every curve like the back of my hand. 15 in a 30. I ain't in no hurry, 
I'ma take it slow, just as fast as I can. <laughs>